Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Oyeni Oyeliki Samson. Today I will be showing you and explain to you how you can easily locate your OBD port irrespective of the model of the car. Irrespective of the model of the car. So as you can see the symbol, this is a Peugeot, but for for you to know the model, you can identify it outside of the Let's see the model of the car. Here with me is Peugeot 407. Peugeot 407. So, irrespective of the model of the car, I will be showing you how you can easily how you can easily locate your OBD port. So, one thing you need to know is that your OBD port is always within the driver's compartment and i hope you know what i mean by driver's compartment that's where the driver is actually sitting here is driving in front of me that means in in the driver's seat and here we have the passenger compartment that's the one beside the driver and the other one behind the, the driver that's also the uh, passenger compartment so you should know that your OBD port is always within the driver's compartment. So to do that now, all the, what you need to do is to check the possible place. And one of the possible place that you can get that is down here. So let's see. Uh oh, here is a pause. So meaning is not here. So this is one of the possible way you can easily locate you check here then you check down the steering also if it, you can have an access to that otherwise that means is not the location so looking at it it seems as if this is just a section and it can be as down as possible there is uh, there can be a pin that you can easily open otherwise if it's not there then you should know that you don't have your OBD port there or it can be around in any part of your gear lever it can be here is the gear lever the OBD port can be in any part around around the gear lever and for me looking you can see that the OBD port is not here another possible way is close to this uh, your instruments that's your radio instruments so since you see that there's no any sign of any sign of a port there then you should know that your OBD port is not here and it can be by this side then otherwise you have another option of your armrest that's the driver armrest so let's see Okay, here you are. Sorry for this. So here we have our uh, this. It has a pin. You can even see from here looking at it having the 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 shape of a port. So you have to watch carefully so that you can easily locate the pin that is clipping it. So here is the pin then you you clip it down then you open gently in order to avoid damage so here we have what our obd port obd port so with this this is the female obd port then the male OBD will be plugged in and easily take your reader from your instrument scanner that's the diagnosing tools that you are using okay so we here we have our instrument cluster so what are the possible possible things that you can easily diagnose though I, I will not be explaining that for now but let me just show you yeah i have the key to, to start the vehicle
okay it's doing all the possible checking your eps your abs okay so we have the what the check engine and we have our abs So if after a while this light did not go off, that means you need to run a check on your check engine. Here is the sign for the check engine, the one on top, then the one down here is what the ABS. You can see it's even coming up on when it you need to run a check on the what the ABS and here is the EPS. That's the EPS also. You need to run a check also that this. You also need to run a check on it. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you. Thank you.